Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about the properties in Java and how do we use these property files in our Java and Selenium program. Okay, so let me show you fun property file. Then I will explain you how do we can use that. So what I'm doing right now, I'm doing a right click on my project, clicking on new and then clicking on file. Here I am giving property as config dot properties. Okay. And I am giving one property as URL. I am giving a URL of google.com here. All right. So before we go ahead, let me explain you that why I have created this uh, property file. So property file, you can assume it's a simple text file in which we put some key and we put some value okay assume that th this is the value and this is our variable but what happened if I want to use the value of some variable I need to either give in my code somewhere here all right or maybe in other program but I need to make sure if it's public private and I need to pass on that variable if I want to use it on to different programs but if I put a key value here that's mean I can access this key and value anywhere in my program till my program is running okay so this is one of the reason and the second reason is let's assume right now we are opening the website google.com but this is a production website when you're working on a project your website would be something like dev okay because uh, you know it can be a dev site and it can be also something like test okay and then our actual one all right so it might possible that when you are working on your any project at that time first you have to test it on the URL which is for the dev depending upon your need okay let me just comment other two Okay, so if you're working on the dev side that or maybe you are you are doing some kind of unit testing at that time You have to change your URL to dev when you're working on the test side You have to change your URL like this and when you're working on the production side You want to verify something in production. You have to change your URL this now assume if here in my program if I say driver dot get Okay, and I give my URL this one here all right so right now this is fine because I am opening a production URL but let's assume that uh, I need to run the same script into my test environment then what I need to do I need to go here and then here I need to change my URL okay so this is just one test case let's assume I have hundred of test case okay and if i have hard coded hard coded means i have directly given my code of the url here then i need to go all those hundred test cases and i need to change this url and put an underscore test here which i don't want to do it so what we do instead of that we will give url here okay so this is a url and if sometime my requirements are instead of the production website, I need to test my test website. I can just go here and change the URL. And by doing this, I would be able to run my all the programs. And uh, after that, I can, I would be go ahead and I would be able to change anywhere where I have used driver dot get. Okay. So let's see how we can do that and it will be more clear when I will doing that. So let me just do it. So instead of test, I want to test the test URL. Okay. All right. So what we want to do right now, I would just want to read this file. Okay. So for reading this property file, I can give properties, which is my op, which is my class. I need to create an object of that class okay so it is properties prop 
equal to properties okay if you see it is giving me some message okay so I have given prop prop equal to new properties here and then I need to load the property so I will give prop dot load okay and in the load what I need to give I need to give the file input stream okay because it is taking an input stream all right so what I will do I will remove this and I will create an object of that stream all right so let me give again I have just removed it prop dot load and if you see it is taking a file input stream here okay so for giving a file input stream I will create an object of file input stream so I will give new file input stream and now I need to give the path of where my property file is so config.properties is in the root folder of my project okay here is config.properties in order to go to root folder I will give dot put a slash and I will give the file name that is config dot properties all right so this is the way I will give my path of the root folder so I have given an object I have created an object of property I have loaded the file and I can just now get the property through prop dot get property so what I will do I will write prop dot get property and here I can give this key that is let me just check its URL right All right and once I get that value I need to pass on to my driver dot get so that it can open that URL all right so what I have done here you can see I have uh, created an object of property I have loaded the property and given the URL of my file through file input stream object and I am loading that property and that's it this is the way I can do that and let me just run it once it is done it will say program finished and if you want I can also do a sys out of this property so that I can see what has it has got in the key right. so let me just open this I'm copying it here all right now always make sure that whenever you are typing this property prop equal to new property you know you have these imported in at the top of your project like java util dot properties if it is not imported it will give you an error message so always make sure you need to type something like import java dot util dot properties and if you do control shift o so if it's giving you some error here let me show you let me remove all these import and see what it's giving to us okay let me do control s and let me remove this also which has come automatically okay see it's giving all these error so whenever you move your mouse pointer here you click on import it will import them move your mouse pointer and it will import them all right so it has been done let me press control s okay so what let me remove this and again it's giving one error and it's trying to throw a declaration let me throw exception declaration here okay so now what it will do it will try to read the properties from this prop dot get property and we have given our key and now we can use that value of that key to open our browser so only three line of code which you can see to read a property so run java application okay so it has successfully got the value of our key that is a URL which is stored in config.property and it has opened the website and the program has finished okay 
So this is a very important concept in Selenium because in Selenium you will always uh, get these kinds of property file in your project and you need to change the value depending upon the environment and depending upon other things. So this property file can be used in many ways. We can even store the locators into these property file if our locator is getting changed so that whenever we have to change our locator we just go to this property file and change the locator. We don't have to go to individual scripts to change the locator. These property file can also be used if you want to store some kind of a messages of your website. Example, you want to check the text of the alert boxes. So all those kinds of messages can be stored here. And if there's any change in those messages, I can directly, you can go to the property file and can, you know, change the messages so that you don't have to hard code those messages here. Okay, so it's make our coding and our life very easy if we are using property file for all these kinds of purposes. All right, I hope now the concept of the property file is clear with you. And uh, also there is one more, uh, one more usage of the property file. Assume that in your website, uh, your company website is opening in two languages. One is English and one is Spanish. Okay, so what we do in those kinds of things, we don't give hard coded messages in our scripts. We give a property file. We actually create a two property file, one with the Spanish values and one with the English values. And we give a similar key of that. Okay, so in our program, we read those key depending upon which URL is open. If it is Spanish URL, we read the Spanish property file. If it is the English URL, we use the English property file. Okay, so this is the way property is a very useful concept in Selenium. So just practice it. It's just two line of code. You need to practice it and you will get a mastery of that in after a few practices. All right. So thank you for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe and if any feedback, let me know. Thank you.